Hey there and welcome to the third video of our series on staging with Jovo. Uh, in the last two videos I showed you mostly stuff that you can use for local development but today um, you will learn how to deploy your voice apps dev stage to AWS Lambda with the Jovo CLI. So first let's take a look at our uh, current state. So in the first video, we created some very simple stages. So we created a stages object in our app.json with a local and a dev stage. And um, both stages currently have the same endpoint, which is the Jovo webhook URL, which you can use uh, for local development while running the Jovo development server. And in this video, we're going to change that. So we're going to um, create an, an AWS Lambda function and then add the Lambda ARN as an endpoint to the dev environment here. And then what we did in the second video of the series, in the last video, uh, we, uh, we created an, an additional language model block uh, because we realized that uh, while talking to so many um, different devices in different stages, it might be helpful to have different invocation names. So for example, the local stage now has a, has a different invocation name. Instead of my test app, it has my test app local. And then as well, an additional intent. Um, so we realized that sometimes it might be helpful to have something like a delete everything intent, for example, to delete user data while testing, while talking to a device with the, without having to go into the database and, and delete it and so on. And so for the dev uh, environment, let's, uh, let's do the same now. Let's just copy that, go to the dev stage, and then um, just change the invocation name to my test app dev. So, okay, and so we should be now good to go to, uh, to deploy that to the Amazon developer uh, portal. So let's go into the console and do that. Okay, so uh, to do this, uh, we first have to build the platform specific language model files. So let's do Jovo build stage dev. Okay, so this updates the platforms folder. So if you go back to um, Visual Studio Code and take a look at the platforms folder here in models, we see that the invocation name is now my test app dev, and then also the delete everything intent can be found here. Okay, so now next step is to deploy it um, to the Amazon developer portal. So let's just do Jovo deploy stage dev. And so we needed to add stage dev here because um, in our app.json, um, you can see we're using, uh, we're using a different ask profile to deploy to. So we have a different skill ID um, and a different ask, ask profile Jovo dev. And while it's building the language model, let's open a new tab and take a look at our current ask profiles. So you can, uh, you can access your ask profiles by typing in ask in it. And there you can see we have different ask profiles. We have a default profile, a Jovo Dev, and a Jovo QA. And what's interesting here is um, if you take a look at the, the right, um, there's associated AWS profiles uh, with every ask profile. So uh, my default AWS profile, for example, is associated with um, my default ask profile. And the Jovo Dev profile, which the skill is currently being deployed to, is associated with my Jan Jovo Dev AWS profile. And so let's just take a look at it if it already worked the deployment. Okay, cool. So let's go to the to the uh, Alexa skill developer portal. And if we refresh it, you can see that the skill invocation name is now set to my test app dev and the delete everything intent is added as well. Okay, so it made all the necessary updates to the dev stage, but one thing it's still missing. So if we scroll down to endpoint, um, you see that it's still uh, my personal webhook URL, which only works if I run it on my local computer, if the development server is running and so on. So ideally, I want to host that um, on a shared AWS Lambda function. And I already went ahead and uh, created a Lambda function in the Lambda Management Console. And uh, I will share a link how to do that um, in, the, in the video comments. But what I did is uh, I gave it all the necessary permissions to write into DynamoDB, uh, for example, and, um, and already uploaded some code. So um, what you would usually do is you would 
go into that folder and create um, a zip file, for example. So you could zip everything. You basic, uh, you actually only need the app folder, um, the app.json and the index. Uh, the, the node modules and the index.js. Uh, create a zip file and then go to the code and and upload the zip file here. The thing is that's quite tedious, right? So with every update you have to zip it, you have to go to the browser, upload it, wait until it's uh, saved and uploaded and so on. So uh, with the Jovo CLI, uh, you, in the, you can make this step a little easier. And so to do that, um, we have to do some changes to our app.json. So instead of referencing the uh, the webhook URL of Jovo, we will reference the Lambda ARN. So let's copy that and go back to our app.json. So for our dev environment as endpoint, we're now adding this ARN for our Lambda function. That's actually all you have to do for now. So because um, we have a different endpoint, the language model stays the same. And here under Alexa skill, we have the ask profile Jovo dev. So as long as this ask profile, and let's go back to ask in it again, as long as the ask profile is associated with an AWS profile, then um, the Jovo integration with the AWS CLI will grab that uh, from your ask CLI profile and then upload it to AWS Lambda. So let's let's try it out. Let's get rid of that and let's do Jovo deploy again. So if we type in Jovo deploy um, and just do stage dev, for example, this would um, update the full Alexa skill. So this would update the skill information, this would build the language model and so on, and then upload it to Lambda. What we can also do is we can add target Lambda, and then it would only deploy to AWS Lambda. So let's try it out. Okay, so while it's uploading, uh, I can show you one more thing. So if you haven't set up your AWS credentials yet, um, you can either do that by doing ask init, and um, and create a new profile there. If you don't have AWS credentials set up, it will prompt you to create your own uh, AWS credentials. If you uh, want to create an additional AWS profile, you can also do ask in it, then AWS setup. Is it is. Yeah, and then you can add another profile. You could do like yan.jovo QA, for example. Um, and then you, you get to um, input your AWS access key ID and the secret access key. And uh, I will post this link to the video description as well. So let's go back. And there you can see deployment is completed. So if we go back now to the browser and um, refresh. And um, there it is now. And it's quite large as well because we uploaded, we uploaded a lot of files. So, but, but let's, let's test it out. So, okay, so as you can see here, if I run this test here and you can configure the test event um, here, um, it returns hello world, what's your name, which is um, our current logic of the voice app. So if we go back to our Alexa skill, there's one more thing we need to do. So as you can see here, um, we still have our webhook um, URL um, and not the AWS Lambda ARN, which is specified in our app.json. So uh, to change that, we again need to build and then deploy um, with the Jovo CLI. We need to build it so that currently the endpoint is written into the skill.json file. So right now there's still the webhook. So we need to build a platform specific um, folder files and then we need to deploy it. And again, the shortcut here is to do Jovo build stage dev and then deploy. So you don't have to do the two steps uh, distinctly. Okay, so it already built and now it's deploying. So if you go back, um, you can see that now uh, it's it's a Lambda endpoint there. And then if we go here to the, 
developer portal and refresh, we can see that now it's a Lambda. So that's it. So this is how to um, deploy your Alexa skill to AWS Lambda. And next time uh, I will show you to access DynamoDB only for a dev stage so that you um, don't have to switch between a file persistence uh, database and DynamoDB between the stages. And so I will show you how to do app config overrides uh, from your app.json for different stages. See you soon.